Hope you're having a good one. Welcome back. This week, we're talking about five mistakes you don't want to be making with product photography. The first thing to avoid in product photography is being chained to your tripod. Tripods, let me just get up and explain this one. Ugh. Actually, let's go into the studio. Tripods are good for long exposures, for really stable shots, but the chances are sometimes you can do it without it. So take the last shot that we did for example, Jimmy was on the ground, I was hanging out behind him, the camera was resting on his shoulder, and it was the only way that we really could have got that shot taken. I took the shot. Did you? Yeah. Three, two, high five. Thank you. All right, so my second tip is, and I reckon this is probably the most important one, is don't overexpose your images. You can always, oh, man, that's bright. Hang on, cut for a second. Look, you can always bring the shadows up on an image. It's very hard to bring a highlight back. If you've overexposed and you've gone beyond what the camera can handle, there's nothing you can do about that. So that's why I think that's the most important of these five tips. Tip number three, not taking the time to get your lighting right. Here's an example of the Oscar Razor shoot that we did. Now, whether it's a glass bottle, a highly reflective surface, make sure you get your lighting right the first time and be really pedantic about it. Don't do the shoot if you're not happy with the lighting. If you're shooting natural light, wait for the right time of day. Don't try and shoot in bright sunlight. Don't settle for second best. Make sure that you're shooting in the right light for the right product, for the right environment. So the next tip on five mistakes to avoid is get some negative space around what you're doing. So just like with your lighting, you can't bring highlights back. If you crop in too close, there's no bringing back what you've got around you. You can always crop in on an image. You can't really fabricate what you've missed. Always leave yourself some wiggle room. You're going to regret it if you don't. If you crop in too tight, you crop in too tight and it's very hard to come back from that. Number five on the top tips to avoid with product photography is don't overcrowd your product. So not heroing what you're there to shoot is one of the biggest mistakes I see. While props are good and flat lays look fantastic, having too much around really disrupts the scene and takes the focal point away from the product that you're trying to shoot. Make sure that everything that you have in your shot adds to the image that you're taking, not subtracts from it. So that's the five mistakes to avoid in product photography. Nice, quick, simple one this week. Uh, hit subscribe, hit like, ask your comments. Let us know what you want us to produce next. So those five mistakes to avoid are honestly mistakes that I've made personally. Uh, I've been doing this for about 10 years and they're the things that I've learned to avoid now to get better at what I do. What else am I supposed to say? Yes. See you in the next video. Thanks guys. <laughs>